balance beam exercise. Our first participant, Gina Stallone, 17 from Lamissing, Pennsylvania. And uh, Tim McCarver just visited the club that she trains at, the Parquets, with the coach, Donna and Bill Strauss. Gina had a, an injury uh, about uh, three months ago, and it was a broken finger. This might have uh, influenced her uh, performance on the balance beam today. Slightly out of balance there on the turn. It's not only important to stay on the beam, but must avoid any wobble. Round off, back tuck. Amazing she stood on. What is deducted if you fall off? Five tenths. And to put that in context, Len, the top three performers, only five hundredths of a point of separating them. And five tenths could take somebody from first all the way down to fifth, if you fall. Nice double turn there. Dance is important. Balance. Combination of acrobatic moves. A front somersault. Very solid. Set for her dismount, round off. Full twisting back somersault. See the judges trying to make the determination of how they are going to score. Well, here's an acrobatic mount called a front somersault. Head very close to the beam. But very solid and steady. Tina Stallone, her score. Very impressive, 9.60 for Gina Stallone. Tracy Talavera, our next participant. Score to beat is 9.60. Round off. Back handspring on the beam. Very similar to her, what she's doing on the vault today, that round off, back handspring, Sukahara off on vaulting, and here's another application of that same move. She looks like she's part of that four-inch beam, the way that she <laughs> performed. It's amazing. World Championship, she took a bronze medal on the beam and is considered one of the finest beam performers in the world today. And the 1980 Olympic trials, she was number one qualifier in this country. I tried to walk on that beam, and I know just trying to walk on that beam how difficult it is, let alone performing the maneuvers that these young ladies are doing. It's amazing. There's a flare on the beam. Flexibility. An acrobatic tumbling movement is coming up now called a side aerial right here. Very difficult. Back handspring. Back layout. Not a wobble, and, you know, there's no hesitancy in her movements. She just goes right for it, demonstrates a lot of confidence. Back handspring, full twist and back somersault. This is just a marvelous routine. She's going to move away from the all-around uh, score. And Coach Mobilehill giving her a big hug. You can see the fans certainly do appreciate this outstanding young gymnast, Tracy Talibur. That performance is really outstanding, John. Let's take a second look. Len, what uh, exemplifies her performance is she can perform acrobatic movements with total confidence and no wobbles. Here's a side aerial, back handspring, and now a back layout, and always in perfect balance. Not a wobble. Here's a full turn afterwards. She's graceful, pretty arm movements, her dismount, no extra steps, round off back handspring, full twisting back somersault, good toe point, and nails the landing. What a score it's gonna be.
Tracy Talavera, the score is 9.85 for Tracy Talavera. 9.85. Outstanding performance. Julianne Brombaugh is our next competitor. She, like Tracy, uh, trains at the Oregon Academy of Artistic Gymnastics under Dick Mulvihill. Cute little element there on a head. Back layout. Slight wobble there where McNamara had no wobble. So there was about a tenth deduction there. I think you can see that the concentration has to be there because in the background you can see people moving. There are photographers around. People definitely are watching this young lady. And when you only have uh, an area of four inches in width on that beam, you have to concentrate. Side aerial. Solid. Another acrobatic movement back, handspring back layout. Smooth. She has a lot of interesting movements with her legs, her arms. Cute. Is that for the judges, or is that different? Personality. A little originality, showing a little bit of herself. Difficult dismount coming up. Double back somersault. And Lynn, that's a shame. You know, she had a, a very solid routine. And you know, on the dismount, it's a difficult dismount, but every step is a tenth deduction. She lost five points on the dismount. Watch this back handspring. Back layout. Solid. Solid. Getting set for a, a very high score. Exceptional routine, and then on the dismount, two times around, double back, so it's about five steps at least. Five tenth deduction. She's just lost balance, over rotated it. You can see in her face a little discouragement. Here are the scores. As Julianne signs an autograph, we see her score is 9.30. Could have been a 9 8 without all the steps on the dismount. Tied for second place in the all-around, Mary Lou Retton. Score to beat, 9.85 by Tracy Talavera. We have seen this young lady in two events. She has been very, very good. How is she in the beam? Her acrobatic movements should be very tough on. But how about her balance, the choreography on the, on the beam, and her dance elements? I, I don't think quite as good. but. If she could hit a real solid routine, I think she'll score well. A little archy on that handstand. Back handspring. A little extra step there. She might not be as graceful as Calavera on the beat, but she's real fast and quick. These girls absolutely have no fear when they're up there. Look at a fly in that front somersault. No fear, you're right. Can't have fear when you want to fly in a front somersault like that. Look at everybody just watching her. The other competitors are watching to see if they can pick up something they may be able to put into their performance, and the, the crowd, they're speechless, they're hushed there. They're watching the outstanding performances of not only Mary Lou Retton, but all of these young ladies. Double back, seven so for a dismount, and what a landing. She stood it up, straight body on the landing. And Corelli's is just a little excited. Mary Lou Retton. Her teammates and coach congratulating her on an outstanding performance. Watch this front somersault as she flies to the end of the beam. Daring, daring, fearless. The dismount in the stratosphere, way, way up there. Double back somersault and stands it up. Great. Mary Lou Retton. Her score 
Michelle Goodwin, our next performer. Bear in mind, she has a performance of 9.85 by Tracy Talavera to beat. That's going to be a very hard score to beat. It could be done, but no mistakes. You cannot make any mistakes. Head kip, there's one little mistake. Out of balance on the head kip just slightly. Acrobatic movement, back handspring, back handspring, back handspring. Three in a row. Pretty. Full turn. Arabesque. Solid. Full house at Caesar's Palace. Crowd is really impressed by these uh, kids today. Looking at her performance, practically flawless. Right. She needs a good dismount. Her ankle is taped. Left ankle might have an influence on her dismount. Full twisting back somersault, two steps backwards. Usually she throws a much more difficult dismount. I believe that her ankle's been bothering her. This acrobatic series, three back handsprings in a row, must be in perfect alignment on the beam. Cannot get your hips moving one way or the other, otherwise you fall right off and real solid. Here's the score for Michelle Goodwin. Michelle Goodwin, her score, 9.60. 9.60, a fine score for Michelle Goodwin. Our next participant is Sherry Mann. Sherry not doing nearly as well this year as she did last year when she came in second. Sherry doesn't look uh, in very good shape. What and do you mean? What well, do you mean by that? I think she looks, to me, she looks a little heavier, not quite as quick uh, in her movements, but yet it's still early in the season. That's a back somersault on the beam, very difficult mount. Handstand, back hip circle, a move you normally see on the, on the uneven bars. She's doing it on the balance beam. It almost looked like a mistake. Well, no, it was, uh, it was meant. And she did it very well. Back, hand, uh, back tuck. Do you notice that she's not quite as quick as she was last year? Her movements are a little slower. I don't think she's in very good shape right now. Front somersault, out of balance on that. That's a, that's a three-tenth deduction. It's early in the year, Len, but I would encourage, uh, with the level of competition that you've seen here today, Shari has to get into very good shape in order to compete with these kids. At the World Championships team, she made the team. She is a top gymnast. A full twisting back somersault. But I've seen her lose a little bit of the snap. We're going to take another look at that replay of the mount that Sherry Mann had. Extremely difficult mount. Round off. She punches the board with her feet. A back somersault. Look how she spots the beam with her eyes. And there she is on the beam. Slightly out of balance. About a two-tenth deduction but a very difficult mount. Here's the front somersault, where she picked up another 310 deduction, way out of balance. 
didn't keep her body in alignment over the beam. 9.30 is the score for Sherry Mann. 9.30. Next year, Mr. Floor will be Julianne McNamara. First place in the all-around after two events. She's got a tough score to beat by Tracy Talavera. She has to beat 9.85. Leading by five hundredths of a point. That's One cute. arm handstand. Look at the extension. Full split out of the handstand. Full turn, very precise. No wobbles. Confident. Back layout, solid. Notice the hips right over the beam, center of gravity over that beam. Back handspring, back handspring. Tough. So far, a perfect routine. Notice how much he's improved in the last year, moving up and down the beam very smoothly. Straddle. This is one of the finest routines I've seen Julianne perform on this most difficult event. Dismount coming up. Going to be a tough one. Double back somersault. Two times around. Double back and on. John, it's, that is a real shame. You know, here's this kid competing in the all around, and that is going to be a three to five tenth reduction. She was only leading by five hundredths of a point. This is going to hurt her score. As you said, it was flawless until the dismount. Julianne McNamara. Back layout, flawless. But here comes that dismount. She over-rotates it and unfortunately lands on her hands for at least a three to five tenth deduction. Look at this. Bing. Here's the score for Julianne McNamara. That's a shame. Julianne McNamara, 9.25. 9.25 for Julianne McNamara. Diane Durham, tied for second place in the all-around after two events. She is tied with Mary Lou Retton. 9.85 is the score to beat. That was performed by Tracy Talavera. Mary Lou Retton scored a 9.65. If Diane Durham scores a 9.65, she will be tied for first place in the all-around. No falls. So far, so good. Full turn. Solid handstand, Lynn. Look at Caroli in the back, just concentrating on the performance. Back layout. She can't deduction on that, at least. She has really improved over a year ago. Vastly improved. That leap was kind of weak. High back somersault. Notice that beam just bends when she lands. If she nails a dismount, she'll have a good score. She's going to perform a very difficult dismount, a double back somersault. And here it comes. Punch double back somersault. Okay. Diane Vera. Making a beautiful day for her coach. Della Caroli, he has three performers, uh, performers in this event today, all doing extremely well. Here's her mount. Head kip. Front somersault. Very solid. Her dismount was way up in the stratosphere like Mary Lou Retton. Great height and amplitude off the beam. 
Both feet punch the end of the beam, so you can't afford to miss the end of that beam. Two times around. One, two. A great landing. Just one step backwards. It's going to be a good score. And that score is 9.60 for Diane Durham. A very fine score for Diane, but it was not good enough to beat the girl who won the beam. Let's take a look at the performance of Tracy Talavera. The winning score of 9.85. Results of the beam. The winner is Tracy Talavera with a score of 9.85. Second place, Mary Lou Retton. Tied for third, Gina Stallone, Michelle Goodwin, and Diane Durham. The all-around after three events. First place now is Mary Lou Retton. Diane Durham in second place. Julianne McNamara in third. Followed by Tracy Talavera, Beth Pope. Cheryl Witherstone.